Hello dear viewers, myself Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zolish YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about variations within a single population in which we will look after genetic and non-genetic variations. What are genetic variations? Genetic variation is the difference in DNA among individuals or the differences between populations. Means to say if the amount of the DNA varies from species to species that will be called as genetic variation. What are the sources of variation? The multiple sources of variation are mutation. Mutation means any change in the sequence of the DNA and recombination means to say when a part of a DNA is cut, removed or recycled that will be called as recombination. Examples of genetic variation are eye color, hair color etc. Next are non-genetic variations, the variations that are caused due to chemical and physical environmental factors like light, pressure, temperature etc. are called as non-genetic variations, for example age variation. We have furthermore types of uh, non-genetic variation like individual variation in time, social variation, ecological variation and traumatic uh, variation. If we talk about individual variation in time in detail, age variation includes seasonal variation of individual as well as seasonal variation of generation. What is age variation? Animals in general pass through a series of juvenile or larval stages in which they may be quite different from adults. For example, immature stages of the eel anguilla were originally described as Leptocephalus brevestoris cop. That was their larval form. Similarly, the difficulties for the taxonomists are even greater in groups which are faintest, which show faintest similar, uh, resemblance to the adults like caterpillar and butterfly. The whole conclusion for that age variation is that uh, there is a difference between the shapes of the adults, embryo and larval stage. Larval stage is totally different from the adult stage and the embryo stage. That is why there is difficulty in uh, knowing whether the individual will become butterfly and caterpillar. The larval stage is moth for both of them. But we don't know that which species will develop from that larval stage. If we talk about seasonal variation of same individual like in animals that live as adults through several breeding seasons, uh, it sometimes happens that the same individual has a very different appearance in different parts of year. Means to say they keep on changing their uh, body forms. In arctic and subarctic birds such as ptarmigans, there may be change from white winter dress to the colored summer dress. Means to say as the color of the snow is white, they develop white color of their fur, whereas in summer they develop different colors to absorb the light or to reflect the light rock ptarmigans in summer gray and brown upper parts in winter white plumage is formed in ptarmigan in winter uh, white plumage is formed in the european starlings uh, like sternus vulgaris is freshly molted bird of october is covered with white spots and all the feathers show whitish margins uh, during winter edges of the feathers wear off and the, in the spring at the beginning of the breeding season the whole bird is beautifully glossy black without mold of a single feather means to say all the uh, white uh, plumage containing feathers uh, are shed off if you talk about social variation in social insects like honeybees there are def definite groups of individuals within a colony in addition to the reproductive caste reproductive caste means uh, and there are various forms of the same individual like queen males or drones Workers and soldiers. The drones are the males in a bee colony. Means to say they are males, uh, they are the product of the unfertilized eggs. Drones are always formed from the unfertilized egg. Means to say they are reproduced by parthenogenesis without the fertilization of this egg with this sperm. The queen is one of many females in the colony. She is the only one that is specialized for laying eggs. Uh, means to say without queen, no one can lay eggs. The queen is a product of the fertilized egg and is fed an abundant of royal jelly during its development. It means to say uh, she gets uh, a, a royal uh, family, royal family like uh, life. They are all females and thus come from the fertilized eggs. The workers are the majority of the population of the uh, colony. They are about 2,000 to 60,000 per colony. They are the workers, those who uh, catch pollens and nectars and carry them towards the nest. If we talk about ecological variation, it means habitat variation, variation induced by temporarily climatic conditions, host determined variations, density dependent variations, as well as allometric and neurogenic color variation. Habitat variation Population of the same species located at different habitats in the same regions are often visibly different. Dahl gave a very instructive account of all variations he observed in the study of oyster. 
When a specimen is grown in a still water, it tends to assume more rounder and broader form, means to say its body is uh, broad. When it is grown in strong current, the walls become narrow and elongated, usually also quite straight, means to say body is straight just like an arrow. When uh, grown in a uh, current water, when an oyster grows in a clear water on a pebbles which raises it slightly above the bottom level, the lower valve is usually deep and more or less sharply radially ribbed, acquiring the strength which is not needed with when the attachment is to a perfectly flat surface. Means to say that body form is uh, altered just to attach it with the flat surfaces like rocks, uh, which acts as a shield on that side of the shell. For the same reason, oysters which lie in the muddy bottom uh, with only parts of the valves above the surface are less commonly ribbed. Means to say they have less ribbons as compared to those which lie on the rocks or hard surfaces. Variation induced by temporarily climate, uh, some in animals with a highly plastic phenotype may produce ear classes that differ visibly from the uh, norm owing to unusual condition. Means to say, draw cold food supply, they all affect their body forms. Next, our host determined variation. Uh, Grold has reported that the Burkonide wasp uh, or Apentelis, Flaviconca, Spina vita, uh, cocoons when reared from blue green caterpillars of Coleus felidaceae. But golden cocoons when reared from yellow green caterpillars from the same species means to say if the host is changed then the species appearance will also be changed that is uh, also a variation. Candy and others have shown that gregarious species of locusts uh, exist in various unstable biological phases means to say these phases differ in anatomy, color and behavioral, behavioral characteristics and have often been described as distinct species. When newly hatched nymphs are uh, reared means to say grown and, uh, and favored. Uh, under uh, suitable conditions or crowded conditions, they mostly develop into gregarious phases. Under less crowded conditions, into transitional phase, and when isolated and reared separately into the solitary phase. Means to say, when crowded, their result was different. When uh, they were uh, kept in a solitary phase, their results were quite different. Uh, we, we have shown various variations within the single population. Allometric growth result in the dis, uh, disproportionate size of the some structure in relation to that of the body. If individual of a population show allometric growth, means to say animal of different size will show allometric variability. That is density dependent allometric variation we have discussed now. Neurogenic variation is color change in response to the environment. Uh, camelons have specialized cells. Uh, these are called as chromatophores, which contain pigments in their cytoplasm. Means to say they are pigment containing uh, substances. Uh, they have three layers below their outer transparent skin. The chromatophores in the upper layers are xanthophores and erythrophores. They, they are yellow and red uh, pigments respectively. Means that xanthophores are yellow, erythrophores are red in color. Below the chromatophore is second layer uh, called iridophores or uh, ganophores. These contain ganine ap appearing blue or white in color. The deepest layer called melanophores contain dark pigment melanin which control the light reflection. Camelons change color in reaction to the temperature as well as to camouflage. Different uh, camelon species are able to vary their coloration and pattern through co throughout combination of pink, blue, red, orange, green, black, brown, light, blue, yellow, and purple. Accidental and teratological variations in most animals uh, it may be readily identified. However, in those forms which undergo metamorphosis, injuries to any earlier stage may produce later abnormalities. Means to say, if injuries are occurring in the embryo stage or uh, zygote stage, they may be seen in the adults when they grow up. Now, this is especially true when uh, anomalies or changes uh, in characters are normally of taxonomic value in the group like symmetrical modification of wing pattern that may be affected when uh, uh, wing producing uh, cells are affected. Next are post-mortem changes. In many animals it is impossible to prevent most post-mortem changes of the preserved specimen. Means to say when an animal is dead uh, there, may, there is not possibility to change any structures further. Some extreme cases are known in birds like deep orange yellow plumies of 12 wire birds of paradise that is also called Celestis ignorado. Feared in collection to white skinned ch Chinese jemmies, you say the uh, color of the skin their changes. Uh, Keta Chinese is called whose plumage is green in life. Means you say plumage is green in life whereas it deads, it becomes dead, it becomes white. Uh, turn in uh, turn blue in collection chemical action of preservatives wasp or overexposed to cyanide turn brighter means to say these changes occur after they after their death these changes are prominent which are the indication of the changes or variation within a population genetic variations include sex associated variations these are primary sex association uh, differences secondary sex differences and alternating generations what are primary sex differences? Are these, uh, these are differences involving primary sex organs utilized in reproduction. Means to say males have different reproductive systems, females have different reproductive systems. 
Scanty sex differences include sexual dimorphism. Means you say an individual might have a single reproductive organ or an animal might have a double uh, reproductive organ, both for male and female. In some cases, male and female are strikingly different from one another. Example is of king parrot. Uh, Lachiatus roratus. A male is green with orange bill, female is red and blue with black bill. Alternating generations in aphids are parthenogenetic uh, wingless females are usually different from the winged female of the sexual generation. Means to say both are different and are, but are the products of the same species. Next are non sex associated variations. These include continuous and discontinuous variations. Continuous variation is a result of the slight genetic differences which exist between individuals. It is now evident that no one individual is typical of the characters of the populations. Populations have the characters that develop into the individuals. Only the statics of the whole population can give a true picture of the population. It means to say if we look at the uh, all of the population then we can find out the differences within the single species. 140 species of small genus Melania were found to be nothing but individual variants, but uh, they have seen that all 140 species were distinct from each another. The last one is the discontinuous variations. The members of the population can be grouped into very definite classes. These classes are determined by conspicuous characters, specific characters. Such discontinuous variation is called polymorphism. Common example is alfalfa butterfly. Coleus erythrim uh, uh, has two strikingly different female forms, one resembling the orange colored male and the other is largely white.